There is no requirement to carry out a power outage today since the breakdown at the Sojits power plant in Kalaniti service restored. Therefore, we can supply electricity without any disruptions. A group of civil activists visited the Human Rights Commission today to apprise authorities of the issues that have arisen due to sudden power outages. This is a major fault. The minister says power outages won't occur but supply is disrupted. We are not interested in commissions, although he is. We are in the dark while they gain commissions from diesel power plants. This is an immoral act. There are children sitting for their scholarship exams and many children studying for the advanced level exams. This disrupts their education. The Minister of Power, on the other hand, surmises that a conspiracy could be the root cause of the matter. I assigned the Vice Chairman to probe the matter and compile a report. There are some conspirators as well, so we need to find out more about them too. An island-wide power outage was experienced on the 3rd of December last year, following which a discourse emerged as to whether this was an act of sabotage. The report of the committee appointed to probe it has released its interim report. It clearly mentions that a suspicion has arisen over the cause of the outage, a mechanism created by corrupt politicians, immoral businessmen and opportunistic professionals is behind this matter. At this juncture, the government must realize that there is a power mafia and work to eradicate it. The power crisis in Sri Lanka emerged owing to a number of factors. Firstly, as a result of the dollar crisis in the country, the Ceylon Petroleum Corporation requested US dollar payments from the Electricity Board to supply furnace oil. Secondly, revenue of the Electricity Board fell due to deferment of payments and other relief provided to electricity bills. The breakdown of a generator at the Norachole power plant is also considered a vital factor that gave rise to the power crisis. The breakdown of the generator at the Norachole power plant is soon becoming a major hindrance to power generation since the reliance on thermal power plants has increased due to low rainfall experienced around reservoirs. <laughs> If we do not experience more rain, this could be challenging. We expect the repairs at the third unit of the Norochole power plant to end by the 20th or the 22nd of this month. If we have those 300 megawatts, we will be able to supply power continuously. However, we are facing certain difficulties since it is not in operation at present. <laughs> While the prospect of a major power crisis continues to loom large over the country owing to reduced power generation, authorities have been removing water from Mausa Calais in recent days, claiming a restoration is underway.